so hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mass for this side and today we will be solving yet another problem that is generalized fibonacci numbers right okay let's see what does the problem say so the problem says that you know about fibonacci right you know about fibonacci it is an easy about problem so fibonacci says f of n equals to f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2 right and you have been given that f of 1 is equals to 0 f of 2 equals to 1 and yet you can find everything that is this one has come from the sum of 0 plus 1 this 2 has come from the sum of 1 plus 1 3 has come from the sum of 1 plus 2 right etc etc so on and so forth right now this question is dimension as hard on the gfg right why we know about fibonacci right the fibonacci is just generalized right if you multiply a with g of n minus 1 b with g n minus 2 and add a constant to it the first two values are given to you then it will become a generalized Fibonacci, right? Okay. So now this question has been mentioned are hard on it. Why? Let us see. Till now we have solved Fibonacci from three methods. First was more, first one was recursion in our early stage. Then we have learned about memoization. We converted it to a tabulation DP, right? Right. And then we converted it to a uh, space optimized manner. Space optimized as, as using two variables only, right? If you remember. Now, recursion uses O of 2 to the power n time, exponential time. Memoization uses O of uh, n because of dp. Tabulation also uses O of n. Space optimized also uses O of n. It uses less space, but the time complexity is same. Hard part is that they have asked for O of log n. You have not occurred any, uh, we have not encountered any problem which is solving O of log n, any approach, right? So now what we will do, what we will do, see I am not discussing the brute force approach today, sorry for that because I am unwell, I will be only discussing the optimized approach really fast. Okay, so let us jump to optimized approach as ASAP, right? optimized approach. Also if you want to find any brute force approach, there are tons of video on YouTube, either from an Indian or from a foreign man, you can understand from anyone. Right, optimize approach. I say that I can only tell you optimize approach if you know about two things. First one of them is matrix multiplication. Second one of them is binary exponentiation. Right, how to solve them? how to solve them we will take them first this right so matrix multiplication i just want you to know some rules uh, i'm pretty sure that you know about matrices so suppose a b is equal to c where a b and c are matrices suppose a's order is m into n b's order is x into y what will be the order of c what will be the order of c so for c to have an order the conditions are that n equals to equals to x should be followed right and if this condition follows, then C's order will be M into Y. That is, M will come from here, Y will come from here. This is the only rule I want you to understand because this is important in this question, right? So let us look at why it is important. So what is my mind saying is, this was pretty hard to, for, for me to understand also, right? My mind is saying is, if my A gives me G of N and something like a equals to bc i'm making something like a equals to bc not a b equals to c i'm making something like a is equals to bc so i want my a to return me g of n my b will be my matrix that i will be using for multiplication right and my c will be given me g of n minus one so if i know about g of n minus one i could have computed g of n how so let's say my matrix a is g of n g of n minus one and C. This is my matrix A. And I have to find this matrix that is M. Or well, let's say I'll be empty for a, for a second and we will find its order first. So it will be G of N minus 1. Because of G of N, this will be G of N minus 1. This will be G of N minus 2 and this will be C again. That is constant. Right. Let's find out the order of this matrix, this matrix in between. Right. The order for A matrix is 3 into 1. Same is for 3 into 1. Right. Now because i have to find this value and this value right this is 3 so this should be 3 for multiplication and this is 3 
so this should be three for multiplication right okay so let us uh, generalize these values so let's suppose this is m00 m01 m02 m10 m11 m12 m20 m21 m22 right okay so now what i will have to find these values to make a matrix right see i know you are wondering that how did i come to this approach etc etc it requires practice and i would not say that it is an effort of four five minutes it has taken me time to solve it you can see i am uploading a video at 8 am and i generally upload it at 2 am only i was solving it from that time right so now if i multiply this what is my rhs going to look like it will be m00 because we multiply this row with this column to get the corresponding value so m00 gn minus 1 plus m01 gn minus 2 plus m02 into c right similarly this row with this call so m10 g of n minus 1 m11 g of n minus 2 m212 with c right the third column m20 g of n minus 1 plus m21 g of n minus 2 plus m22 into c right okay now this value should be equals to g of n g of n minus 1 c and this is a matrix and the two matrices are only equal when this value is equals to this value this value is equals to this value this value is equals to this value so let us equate them to find the generalized value of m's, m, m's value right so g of n what is g of n g of n is a into g of n minus 1 plus b into g of n minus 2 plus c is equals to m00 g of n minus 1 plus m01 g of n minus 2 plus m02 into c right so if i equate them by the terms gn minus gn minus 1 gn minus 2 and the constant term so you can see m00 is equals to a m01 equals to b and m02 equals to 1 because of this c right then this was for row 1 if you compared row 1 right similarly if we will compare row 2 then it will be g of n minus 1 equals to m01 g of n minus 1 sorry 1 0 plus m11 g of n minus 2 plus m12 into c right right now how would we solve this now you could have said that expand like i like expanded like i expanded hit here expand g of n minus 1 also but i'm saying the highest order is g of n minus 1 so i don't need to expand right so my m10 from here will be 1 m11 will be 0 and m12 will be 0 right if i'm not wrong you can check you can check this is simple comparison this is simple comparison comparing about row 3 row 3 only contains c and it is equals to m20 g of n minus 1 plus m21 g of n minus 2 plus m22 into c right now lhs doesn't contain the value of g of n minus 1 so m20 will become 0 lhs doesn't come contain the value of g n minus 2 so m21 will become 0 and it does contain c c so m22 will be 1 so if we put the values in the matrix our matrix something look like if i make a matrix here this is a b 1 so it will be a b 1 our second column looks like 1 0 0 1 0 0 and a third column look like 0 0 1 right 0 0 1 right okay so this is matrix b let us name it as m that would be easier to remember so a is equals to m b right b is representing a g of n minus 1 as top row a is representing g of n as top row right and m so we have generalized the expression a is equals to m b right that is let us say g of n minus 1 equals to m into g of n minus g of n equals to g of m into g of n minus 1 right this is our expression now if this is so can i generally write it as g of n minus 1 will be equals to m into g of n minus 2 right i just uh, equated n with n minus 1 right okay now what will happen is from these two values if i put g of n minus 1 value this value here 
it will become like g of n is equals to m m g of n minus 2 which is equals to m square g of n minus 2 right and if that is your homework that if you continue to do so you will compare that g of n is actually equals to m k g of n minus k right m k g of n minus k now what can be the minimum value in these brackets what is the minimum value of n minus k minimum value possible right so our expression was something like g of n g of n minus 1 c right now the minimum value will be when g of n minus 1 is equal to equals to 1 right that is the minimum value so for that i have to get n equals to 2 right that is n minus k minimum value will be 2 right n minus k minimum value will be 2 so our k is equals to n minus 2 so value for the minimum like g of n will be equated to m into n minus 2 g of 2 we know this matrix because that is easier to calculate we know 2 we know 1 we know c right we can have we have to multiply m of n minus 2 now you will say that to have to multiply n minus 2 that is again taking o of n time complexity and the main aim to see such a long approach was just we have to reduce n complexity yes i say you are absolutely correct i have committed a mistake what mistake i have not taught you about this binary exponentiation so let us see about binary exponentiation so binary exponentiation is generally taught while te teaching you about the square root of the power so what we will do is suppose you have a number 2 and you have to find its power 8 right at 2 to the power 8 you have to find 2 to the power 8 can you do it like find 2 to the power 4 find 2 to the power 4 and multiply them 2 square 2 square multiply them 2 square 2 square right and this will convert it to 2 2 and multiply them 2 2 multiply them and then this will the answer right so suppose it was 8 so all the values were even but what if it was 2 to the power 9 in that case 2 to the power 4 2 to the power 4 multiply them but also multiply 2 with them so in our even case we multiply them by n by 2 n by 2 but in our odd case we multiply them with the original value also so what we will do we will carry out this exponentiation and m of n minus 2 we will be multiplying matrices in the binary exponentiation form and you can see when we are multiplying with the binary exponential form it is giving us a value of log n like it is taking a time of log n right so this will be our approach so i will come down to code i need to look at the code guys uh, so sorry that i will not be writing the code today because i'm not feeling well i will just explain you how did i write this code okay i don't have energy to speak about writing the code along with writing it okay so this is the function given to you and you have to implement it okay so what did i do is as i said you i will have a matrix that we explained like this matrix uh, this matrix m i named it as mat right and I, uh, the m to the power n minus 2 will be stored in my res that is our matrix okay now what did i do i made all the elements of resume, uh, res as zero okay you will know why did i do so i have also commented the code okay now i made the ele diagonal elements of res result equals to one okay i am making it an identity matrix why identity matrix because any matrix multiplied by identity matrix is matrix itself all right now i will initialize the matrix m right so you can see the first element is a then b then one then one then zero then zero then zero then zero then one okay so all this line of code are marking that index right okay after that if n is less than equals to 2, in that case, n equals to 1 or n equals to 2, right? In that case, I can just return 1 percentile m because I know that I have been given that g of 1 equals to 1 and g of 2 equals to 1, right? So I will return that. Else, I will call the n minus 2 because we discussed that we have to calculate the matrix of to the matrix to the power n minus 2. So I will use the x, uh, mat x, mat x, uh, mat x that will be solving my matrix in an exponential form n minus 2 m okay so this will call my matrix function here now while n is greater than 0 what i will do is if n and 1 that means if n is odd then i will multiply result with matrix otherwise i will multiply matrix with matrix 
okay so if n is odd i will have to multiply result with matrix and then matrix with matrix that is it is operation is actually doing for odd it is doing result into matrix into matrix right and for even it is doing uh, matrix into matrix and storing them in result okay after that i just divided n by 2 right okay because we have just completed the exponential we discussed it right right here right this one this method is done, being done okay after that what i will do is uh, as you can see we have multiplied it so i will just implement the multiple function which is very easy to uh, to actually uh, multiply two matrices you may have solved it as a singular problem also so what i did is i created a temporary very uh, matrix of size same three by three and then i said all the elements are zero and then i looped that loop through the elements and then just computed i don't think that there is as much explanation needed and neither i will be able to give you explanation okay because this is really simple guys this is really simple and then you just copied all the elements of res result element into the original result okay the temporary into the original result okay so this function will return me the mat of exponential n minus 2 right and now our g of n g of n was a into g of n minus 1 that is this value that is a b and c into result okay so this is returning the nh fibonacci number modulo m this is modulo m okay so let us try to run and run it okay so hope it works in the meantime you want me to su please subscribe my channel if you're new here and keep watching my videos if you like the algorithm please consider liking it okay so you can see we have already passed it uh, this is my second submission first submission was to check whether i'm doing correct or not okay so thank you guys for watching if you like the video don't forget to like and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe thank you have a nice day